Testing, testing. Looks like I got, okay. Well, I'm already starting off bad. <laughs> ah. Well, anyway, we we're having technical difficulties already, and that's actually what today is for, is to get the technical difficulties ironed out. And looks like I'm having trouble with my sound today. So I'm trying to get all that situated here. So bear with me one minute. Let me do this while I'm, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Hello again, campers. This is your friend and neighborhood penguin, Bob, here. And uh, we're going to continue testing out my stream. As you can tell, I'm already having some technical difficulties, like always. But nevertheless, we'll push through them. And I want to get back into playing some No Man's Sky, or what I like to call No Bob Sky. And we're going to continue on with the expedition number two. 10, I believe it is, called the Singularity Expedition. So we'll finish working on that, and let's get into it. Let's go. They can't take the sky from this space penguin. Okay. Let's get in here to the Singularity. And yesterday, where we left off our hero, a.k.a. me, <laughs> I was uh, in the process. I just got beat up and everything. And off stream, I did fix my ship. Uh, but uh, we are still sitting at the space station. And we're going to pick up from there and see where we can go and what we got to do next. Oh, and while we're waiting, wait a minute. Hey, Perrin. Man, yesterday everything was going smooth, and now today, everything, my audio stopped working. And now my game is frozen.
Okay. Boy, all kinds of craziness that happened today. I thought I was going to get into this game and just start playing. And one problem after another. Something's... Oh, my game crashed. Hey, RPG. I'm having technical difficulties already. No Man's Sky crashed on me. My audio wasn't working first thing. And then my game froze. I'm guessing the game froze because No Man's Sky. Yeah, yesterday went pretty smooth. I should have figured it'd be too good to be true. So, let's see if we can get back into it. Maybe it's just at the beginning of everything. Oh. Well, this is a good time as any. Sip them if you got them. Nothing like relieving stress by sipping on iced coffee. That's what I always say. So apparently, all the work I've done the last couple of days is not working. <laughs> so I've got more work to do, apparently. We're going to still try to see if we can stream for a couple hours and see what happens. But if it gets bad enough, I'll just end the stream. here for a second see if everything looks fine okay let's check out what we got going on here Let me know if you guys can't hear me or can't hear the music or if the screen locks up or something like that. Because there's clearly something going on today. I want to get the gremlins out of my technology. Which is really frustrating. I spent all these years working in IT. Cool. Thank you, RPG. I spent all these years working in IT and... I can't figure out for the life of me what's going on. I think it's because having all this set up and doing all this stuff, it is really taxing on both computers. Uh, and it does quite a bit. There's a lot to it. And because of it, it just does, it's, it just, uh, it just, some things uh, affect everything else if that makes sense it's like a domino effect one little thing goes wrong and then it takes out four or five other technical problems which is what i feel like i'm fighting against i'm putting out fires and more fires keep cropping up all right so let's uh i'm just checking to see if everything's stable at the moment all right so let's get back into the expedition here Etched in glass. Follow the sentence, echoes the coordinates, 
at the abandoned scrapping camp yielded said uh, yep which we got that it shows up on the map here matter of fact where is it at to be able to highlight it there it is that's where we gotta go Planet is this? Ah, desert planet. Got ancient bones, cactus flesh, copper, pyrite, and sodium. Which, we get the chance, we are definitely going to grab some more copper. Because copper is what you need for chromatic metal. You need lots of chromatic metal to do upgrades and stuff. I wonder if this is another sentinel down sentinel ship. I was able to fix my ship from yesterday. As you can see right here, I fixed the shield. As a matter of fact, I even bought a couple additional shields. They're not great, but they should help some. I even upgraded uh, my uh, photon cannon. Mission destination reach, land to begin the search. Really? How come I can? Okay. From right there, I thought I was going to be able to land. Okay. Now we got to get out. And we got to do this thing. So it is about 600 units in front of us. Still going the right way? Yep. Oops. Oh, come on. Something bit me. That's what bit me. So take that. Wait a minute. When did I get ammo? I got ammo? I got ammo. How did I get ammo? I don't remember getting ammo. Not complaining because I'm gonna need the ammo for my bolt caster. Okay, it is this way? I wonder if it's this big structure right here. It very well could be. Charge up my life support. I only got two of those things. Let's save it. Oxygen is plenty. How much di dihydrogen do I got? Probably not a lot. There's 72. Well, there's some right here. Let's get some. No, no, bolt caster. See, look in the upper right hand corner, it says bolt caster. That's what this is, not a bow caster. I wish I had the bow caster, that'd be very really cool. Chewbacca's bolt caster. Uh, there it is. Bolt caster, energy projectile weapon. I uh, just used wham ammo. Just use Whammo? No, not Whammo. That's a that's the company that made Frisbee. And Log. You guys know what Log is, right? I'm not that great of a singer, but have you ever heard the jingle for Log? You know, the one that goes, 
It rolls downstairs as great as it pairs and rolls with a neighbor's dog. It's great for a stack. If it's on your back, it's log, log, log. It's log, log. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Log, it's log. It's better than bad, it's good. Yeah, the bolt caster does have a lot of stopping power. Just you burn through ammo like something crazy. Something's purping at me. There it is. Yep, yeah, it's this facility, I bet. Yeah, see right there. There it is. Good, we'll call my ship over here so I have to go get back, go get it. Yeah, good old Ren and Stampy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. All right, it's calling my ship. What? Oh, that's right, because my all my nav day is on the starship. And of course, it's out of range. Da -da 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 -da. Fail! All right. I should be able to call it in over here, though. Let's do this. There it comes. And that's in range. There we go. My teal liar. Wait a minute, we gotta check out stuff. I don't have any artifacts to put in there. But we are going to go to the terminal. Trying to see if there's anything here I want to buy. When I fixed my ship, I did, I was in the process of finding my ship. I mean, fixing my ship. I did this off stream. Oh, I, I didn't go any further in the expedition. I wanted to save that for, for being on stream. But I did fix my ship. And in the process, I found a down ship, which I fixed it, got it back to the space station and scrapped it. So I got some money now. I thought that was kind of a bit of luck. Just came across it. <laughs> Echo repository. Do you hear us? Yes, I hear you. Do you hear me? Assumed all creation rejected. One blueprint from an infinite number. One blueprint from all the ways to be. One construct. Okay, extract the blueprint, please. I copy the blueprint. A blueprint from the archives databanks. Whoever left the message at the auto phase wished for someone to find this. Yay. What did I find? Construct head. What? What is a construct head? Salvaged auto phase component. Okay. Ooh. I completed a milestone. Yay. I mean, like I, get, I get goodies. Gotta collect my loot that I get. What'd I get? I got destruct head schematic. Yeah, I just did that. 300, not, 312 nanites. Nice. And some type of uh, something. Oh, I need a microprocessor and three more metal plating. I think I can make those. Let's see. Oh, what's this? A hazardous protection module. 
Well, don't mind if I do. Look you there. Got heat resistance, radiation resistance, cold resistance, and toxic is that all in one? That's new. Or maybe I've just never noticed it before. Nice. What? What? Oh, it's wanting me to build stuff. I can't build that yet. I got ah, oh, I need carbon nanotubes. Why well, I don't have any more spe uh Okay, I'll do it over here then. Metal plating, three of those. Now I'll build your crazy construct head. No, I still need to make the microprocessor. Now I'll build your crazy construct head. There you go. See if I can free up some space. My exosuit is clogged up. Uh, what we got here? What we got here? Anything? Anything? Well, let's eat those. I don't need those. That's wheat. Now we got three slots free. Yay! Okay, what's the next uh, next thing in our phase uh, thing here? I to see. Oh, wait a minute. Did I already get it? Oh, I got it because I constructed the head, which looks like my reward is a supreme scanning system upgrade, pre-packaged advanced mining laser. Whoa, I could have used that earlier instead of going through all the hassle of trying to make one. Yay! All right, so let's see what I got now. Prepackaged advanced mining laser. See, I I made that. Technologies are installed. Yeah, because I jumped the gun and I went through the process yesterday of doing all that. Thought I had to have it in order to get the radiant shards. Little did I know it give it to me anyway. All right, let's put it in the starship. I can't do anything with it. What's this though? Ooh, nice and shinies. I'm liking it. Better scanning. Okay, what next? I've completed the first four. Now I'm on to this one. Oh, look, it's no longer encrypted. These two are because I got to do this one first. I got to commune with that one. Present the construct to the Atlas. All sentence echoes resonate on a crimson frequency. Allow the Atlas to witness this out phase construct. We're in space, access the galaxy map, and follow the mission path. Got it. We're going to go see Atlas. Wait a minute. Is my hyperdrive working? Yes. Okay. I couldn't remember if it was damaged or not. All I fixed yesterday on my starship was shields and being able to uh, fly, which is like my launch and pulse engines, I think it was. Pulse engines. Launch pit system wasn't damaged. All right, we're going into space. Space Penguin to the rescue! Back some fish and beyond! Welcome back, RPG. I didn't even know you are gone. Oh, okay. That's where... Wait a minute. I need to go here. It's probably not going to be for a while on streaming Star Wars Legos because I can't get any, into any type of regular streaming thing until my my uh, streaming PC and my gaming PC are working. I, I 
this has absolutely grinded everything to a halt, with the exception of me making videos, which is what I need to do after this, uh, after I get through here today. So, I mean, because I'm going to be spending most of my free time, what little I get, of trying to fix the equipment. Because there's no point if I stream and every 15 minutes I'm having to fix the fix it from locking up. It just it it uh, takes away from everybody watching it. I know it also frustrates me. It takes everybody out of the immersion of watching a silly penguin being a Star Wars guy. Which I do want to get back into doing that. It's just that I don't even know right now if regular scheduled streaming is going to continue happening. I thought after yesterday, I thought things were looking up. But today has kind of proved me wrong. It is what it is. I got to figure that stuff out. You're just going to have to be patient with me, guys. Let's see here. Why did I go to the space station? I got distracted. That's what it was. I need to... Wait a minute, no. Wait a minute, okay. I went to the space station like I normally do. Boy, I even did that on autopilot. I've been doing this so long. Every time I go to a new galaxy, I always wind up going to the space station first so it saves the space station in my list of space stations I can go to. <clears throat> All right, I need to do, make another jump. Oh, man. No, not free explore. There we go. That's where I need to go. Right there. Looks like I'm uh, two more jumps away. I would like to eventually get to the point to where this is all stable enough that I can start streaming what, I, what I'd like instead of streaming to see if things working or not. <laughs> like I'd like to get back to streaming Lego Star Wars. Oh great, we're in a battle. Not if I can help it. Let's get out of the battle. Where's the space station? Anyway, like I was saying, I'd like to get into uh, being able to play Lego Star Wars, stream Lego Star Wars again. Uh, definitely want to do Space Engineers. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Stream it. We've saved the space station in our list of space stations. <clears throat> well, I technically haven't really started streaming again. I, uh, and, and no problem. I, I don't mind you asking. Uh, what, what just happened? Okay, uh, these yesterday, today, and if I do it tomorrow, are going to be what I consider test streams to see if things are working or not. Uh, and normally, the, the game I always play when I do a test stream is No Man's Sky. Uh, because mainly, that game, this game is normally rock solid. It's been around for going on almost seven years. I've been playing it for six of it. Uh, normally don't have too many problems out of the game. So the game is kind of 
the one thing that is working in in the in the setup. Uh, then I just gotta play around with. See, I've already when I started the stream, I already had to tweak the stream settings and fix my audio. That's not ideal for streaming. I have to do that every single time. And here's the Atlas interface. See, like for tomorrow, which is normally my day for streaming, if I do stream tomorrow, I it will be to do another test stream, and it'll be after I've had the opportunity, hopefully, to tinker around with some more settings and things and try a few things. But yes, the goal is to eventually get into back into regular streaming. And maybe I ought to try to change things up and try streaming my, my podcast instead of games. Maybe maybe uh, streaming games right now is is causing problems. I don't know. I that may be something to rule out. Which it is, then that means it's dealing with the graphics encoder. All right, what's Atlas gonna do? I stand before Atlas, it's unknowable. It cannot know me, it cannot know any of this, and yet I am compelled to be here, to offer it my own fledgling creation, my construct. The Atlas cannot react, it does not react, it is all noise, yet it is wordless, its voice is the entire universe. Okay. An Atlas sea is revealed to me, I take my lead. Woo! Lead a dream. See, I need chromatic metal now. And I completed another milestone. Let's see what my reward is. I got Seed of Dreams Revelation and Warp Core Plan. Warp Hyper Core Plans. So I can make my own Warp Core Hyper. Uh, my fuel, basically. Nice. Oh, Storm Crystal's on now on the menu. That means. Parent, get ready. You're going to be loving the next couple of minutes or so. Means I'm going to have to go and run through a storm. Collect storm crystals just to make fuel. If I need to make fuel. Wait a minute, what did I do? I fell down. All right, let's... uh. need to make the seed in order to do that I need chromatic metal I have 25 how much carp copper do I have 877 okay, how much again I need 75 chromatic metal so let's see if I can't make 75 chromatic metal or not cool we can So let's jack it down to 75. I don't want to burn through all my copper just in case I need copper. Okay, while well that's uh, hooking, let's get out of here. Somebody else is going to see that. Radiated planet. Oh, I bet you that's got storms. Ah, 
Actually, before I do that, I need to find out what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh. What's this? Fragment of a new Atlantid. Trying to talk to him. Okay. Probe the structure. Why not? Whoa, hello. That's a lot of hexadecimal. I have no idea what it just said. Wonder what happens if I shoot it. You think I should shoot it? I feel like I'm barely making a dent on it. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! Wow! Oh, cool! I got Atlantis stuff for shooting it. That was cool. Alright. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing next here? See you creation, a tiny drop of the inf infinity of the atlas. This mirror atom contains boundless noise. Each tiny vibration. I need chromatic metal. Okay, I'm supposed to make that. So then I guess that will tell me what I'm supposed to do next. Is my chromatic metal done yet? Yes. I can make the seed of dreams. Now what? Yay! Completed another milestone. Let's collect my reward. Ooh, I get some money. Gold nuggets and Supreme Hyperdrive upgrade. That's going to be nice. Oh, wrong thing. Ooh. Uh, I need to move stuff around. Let's put you there. That way these are uh, together. Okay. Now what? Find out. Complete the first pilgrimage. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's uh, do something with my... Get my gold here. And... Gotta go to the galaxy map. Oh, I can open the Nexus now. Expedition route. That's where we're going. Oh, I have missed playing this game. I've missed being a penguin in space. Let's go to the space station so we can save the space station in our list. And it looks like there's somebody playing on a console here. Waggly Bunny. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Makes sense because it's along the path. Whoa, that's a lot of three winged exotics. Wish I had the dough. I do have a little bit of dough, but not a lot. All right, continue on our path. Do, do, 
Oh, I'll go straight there. Might as well get the uh, second stop. That's because I got that uh, hyperdrive upgrade. Allows me to go further, which is really nice. why my game crashed. Hello Games was actually doing a server update as I was trying to join. They were doing a server update to uh, address the high player load today. So that's why it kicked me out and locked up the game. I wondered why that happened. I love how they're always that Tom Murray and his team are always, always on the ball when it comes to that kind of stuff. I just didn't check my messages to see, see if it was happening. My bad. I just dove in to, to play in the game. Actually, when that happened, when the when the announcement happened, I was actually trying to fix audio issues. I'm getting my screen. So we're heading to the first rendezvous point here. It's a fire planet. Yes, I'm landing. So I can do the search. <laughs> There's somebody here named Toby One Kenobi. Cool. Where I gotta go? Of course, toward the volcano. Of course, you gotta grab some goodies along the way. Yes, I know. Thermal protection falling. When isn't it falling? <laughs> well, looky there. If you see my past videos, you know this penguin doesn't play well with a volcano. We don't like lava. We prefer the coal. But somehow we always end up in a situation. Oh, grab a tingle ball. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Where's the sentinels? Is there sentinels? There's normally sentinels watching those things.
Yeah, apparently. I'm guessing it's probably, well, you know, it's probably along the same lines why the sky is blue. Because you know the sky is actually not blue. It's actually blue is the one color that doesn't uh, go through our atmosphere. It gets dispersed in our atmosphere from the sun. Because all the colors of the light spectrum are going through our atmosphere. And blue is the one that gets reflected back. And it's dispersed. And that's why the sky looks blue. Probably the same principle here in the game, which is kind of cool they do that. So everything's probably got a purple tint to it for that reason. But maybe somehow the star that's in the system uh, the purple light maybe doesn't go through the atmosphere. I don't know. I also am a penguin. I could be just barking through my butt. <laughs> Either way, interesting. And it's fine by me as long as I don't end up in the lava. Weapon depleted. Okay, now I gotta go this way. Oh, another gravitino ball. I could, I could sell those. But I need to run. Sentinels. Called it. No, no, no. I ain't gonna play. Not in the mood to play. No, no. I'm not playing. <laughs> well, you're also assuming that the volcano is made with sulfur. Maybe it's not. There are different elements that burn, like magnesium's another one, sodium's another one. I want to say sodium does if it's introduced with water. Magnesium, I know, catches fire. I think it's magnesium. There's one of them that catches fire if it just hits the air. Okay, am I going the right way? But I do see your point about the sulfur. If this planet was sulfur-based, or not sulfur based, but the fire in the volcano was based on sulfur. Yes, thermal protection is falling. Technology module. Let's go underground a little bit. That's the direction I need to go. This way I'm not being affected by the heat outside. And I get some silicate powder, which I can use to power things. Okay, course correction, that way. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, ran out of the mountain. Sodium rich plant. Can I, can I get this one too? 
Come on. Whoa, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Note to self, Bob. Don't jetpack on the side of a mountain. You come down hard and it hurts. Yes, I know my thermal protection is falling because I ran out of mountain. All right, let's see if we can get over there and get inside that mountain. That way we can have some protection. Come on. Because my thermal protection is falling. Let's go, Bob. Stop dawdling. Uh oh. Great. Incoming storm. Wall of flame detected. I may have to call my ship in and sit in it for a bit. Unless, of course, I come across storm crystals. Your favorite bit's coming up, Perrin. Space penguin in a storm. That's a radiant shard. Aha, the storm is coming in. Crying out loud. I'm being burned alive. Geesh, ground's on fire. Please. What? Huck, huck. All right. Come on, so I can sit in my ship for a minute. I don't see any storm crystals. Are there any storm crystals around here? So I'll go fly to one. Oh, get in there before I die. Be awesome if you wanted to join and watch. I'm not sure what you're talking about, RPG. Join and watch what? Talk about when you're streaming? Oh, so I decided that I'll be live streaming Lego Star Wars tonight. Five my time on my gaming channel. Okay. I can multitask. I got to work on a video. And later on tonight, I'm uh, going to be in Second Life with Perrin because he's going to be DJing. But that's way much later. Uh,. So I can have y'all in the background while I'm doing stuff. Sure, why not? Actually, five o'clock. What time is that? Here? What time is that? That's six o'clock my time. That's like in 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm still going to be uh, streaming. Or trying to. So I'm going to go to about seven. I want to test this thing out for a couple of hours. My rule of thumb is I gotta be stream. If I do a test stream, I gotta do it for at least two hours. Uh, and the reason for that is that's normally the time the thing starts breaking. Okay. on fire and where's the where's the uh, fireman when you need him I gotta go this way all right note to self Bob don't run through the fire fire's not good for sin for uh, for uh, feathers 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. All right, we can go through the map. Oh. Yeah, if you put a, an alert in your channel, I see your alerts. You don't have to necessarily IM me or anything. It's just, I notice your alerts in your channel. I get them. I get notifications. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode. That's why. Can I scan that? Just like I'm sure you see my notifications when I go live. You notice, like even in my channel, I created a channel, uh, a channel inside my server specifically for live stream info. Yeah. Like I said, I'll have you on in the background, and I'll sit there and watch you, and, and uh, maybe talk occasionally. But I'm gonna be working on on video as well. But I'm multitasking, man. I'm a multitasking penguin. Am I going the right way? Yes, I'm going the right way. Yeah, that's normally how, how Perrin uh, sees me, because uh, he gets my notifications too. Well, I mean, the mere fact you're in my Discord channel and signed up for it, you get a notification. What is that? You're a rock? Oh, good. I have to go this way anyway. Well, I'm apparently running into something that... All right, let's try going up. Going the right way? Yes. I gotta see daylight eventually. This is one of the more fun parts of the game for me. This being a tunnel rat. Or tunnel penguin. Something like that. Weapon depleted. Okay, let's use some of the silicon power I've been collecting to charge up my terror manipulator. Yay! That's really cool because what you're collecting, if you notice, I'm collecting tons tons of silicate power when I'm doing this and that's the same stuff that powers the terror manipulator that's creating the, the the mining am I going the right way wait a minute yeah gotta go this way sure I can run run across the yeah uh, you know outside on the land and be subjected to extreme heat but this is more fun and I'm protected Notice in my lower left hand corner, I don't even have anything telling me I've got a heat warning. Us penguins like to stay cool. Even if it means being a, a gopher. Oh, I'm here. Now, can I get outside? Aha! We're at the camp! We did it! And there's the hole I made. Look at that. That's cool. Holy moly, that's a hole! <laughs> oh, pilgrimage! I completed the expedition. Well, that first phase. Collect a reward for that. Which I get an exosuit expansion unit. Yes, three of those. Uh, Multi-tool expansion, yes. Nice. And... I get a reward for collect... Oh, I get uh, 
uh, Atlas poster plans, Atlant Atlantis stuff poster plans, and Construct poster plans. I completed the first phase. Yay! Happy Skippy go lucky! <laughs> Huzzah! I'm not wanting to make a poster yet. I don't even have a base yet. Okay, what do I gotta do now? Oh, what? Okay, now, first phase is done. Phase two. Point the second pilgrimage. So that's what we're gonna do. So after this little base here, let's call in my spaceship. Where are you? Can't land here. There we go. Land there. Collect some harmonic scrap. Well, that one's empty. Autophage. Uh, drink their foam. What? Drink their foam? That sounds messed up. Now what? Yeah, that was really helpful. I got residual goop. I guess I could turn that into nanites. I do need to do. Really? I'm full? Well, wait a minute. I got some expansions to do. Oh, I can't do that here. I got to go at the space station. So we'll go to the space station and do that. All right, let's move some things over, though. Move these to my spaceship. Uh, move that to the spaceship. Move that to the spaceship. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with that. It's worthless except the scrap. Oh, nice. Turned it into parts. Then my starship. Okay. Nothing I hate worse than running out of slots to collect my loot. I gotta get the stuff. I like collecting the stuff. Now see that's gone because I've already got it. You can only get one of those apparently. All right, uh, is there anything else to get here? There's a terminal. Let's see if the terminal does anything for me. Normally, I think this terminal's only supposed to be to just help me get a sentinel ship, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of okay with flying around in a, uh, unless I have to get a sentinel ship, I'm okay with just flying around in my little, uh, heel Jonah solar ship. I like it. Yeah, see, there's the location of a central ship. I do have this brain that I need to kind of convert somehow. I forget how to do that. Okay. All right, let's go to the space station so I can do my upgrades. I need the space. I'm out of launch fuel. Wonder why I wasn't going. <laughs> Needs gas, Bob.
There we go. Head to the space station. Do my upgrades. Whoa, yeah, baby. I've got three... Uh, I got four expansion slots for my multi-tool and three for my exosuit. And actually, I maybe even, if I have enough, I'll even buy the additional fourth one at the space station. If I have four slots, I'll gain on my exosuit. Really? Really? I'm running out of gas everywhere, baby! Stop it! Burned through so much titanium and so much starship fuel, it's not funny. No problem, parent. I get it. You've done it before. You're not feeling the greatest. You gotta go lay down. As long as you're still sitting there listening to me, I'm okay with it, man. Like I can really stop you anyway. <laughs> Will you take it easy and just uh, try not to laugh too hard or shake your head at this, how crazy this little penguin is being. Up saying my ex. Upgrading my exosuit now. Nice. I got me some more space. I needed this space. I was running out of space. Ha! <laughs> running out of space in outer space. Bad pun. All right. Sorry, I like to organize. Now, let's go and upgrade my multi-tool. I got four slots for it. Yeah. All right. I love getting the upgrades. Yeah. All right. Uh, I wonder, can I upgrade my starship yet? I got an augmentation. I, I didn't know I got that. Well, let's apply my augmentation to my starship. Nice! I got three. I had, I didn't know I had three upgrades for my starship. Love it. Get all kinds of storage. Now, how's my ship out of range? It's right over here. It's like right here. You can't see it, game? My ship's right here. It's right here, I tell you. It's right there. Look. Okay, now it tells me I'm here. Weird. Oh, I can sell the Gravitone Road. Well, let's hold on to him for a little bit, maybe. Put the seed up there. Put those up there. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that. Plans for this unit extracted from an auto phase. Yeah, we already did that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Uh Oh Freaked me out there for a minute I'm going what happened to everything in my exosuit? Well that was a glitch. 
Can I fix these yet? I can fix that one. It's got radiant shards. Oh, I need one more radiant shard to fix that one. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to do next? Okay, I'm supposed to go to the second program reach. Got it. Here we go. Go to the expedition route. Oh, I can go straight to it. Nice. I'm really liking the hyperdrive upgrade I got. Makes this thing a lot easier. And while we're uh, traveling, zip them if you got them. Yeah, baby. I can't survive without my iced coffee. And there is the second rendezvous point. Wait a minute, let's go to the space station first. Always do that. That way it shows up in our terminals. So we can always go back to it if we need to. And all we simply have to do is go in, land, get out of our ship, and then get back into our ship and go to the rendezvous. Hey, look how many people are here. Lots of people. here Traveler's Lodge that's what I love about the No Man's Sky community there's people that just literally go around especially on the expeditions they build bases and stuff with resources you need to help you along if they if you need to it's really kind of cool like this is a Traveler's Lodge I'm not sure what it is but maybe I want to check it out Let's see what you got in your cargo. I got anything here that I need. I'll at least buy a Corvax casing just because you need that. Alright. Thanks. Alright, let's go to the Traveler's Lodge, then we'll go to the rendezvous. Let's see what this guy built. I always like to check that stuff out. Because you never know, it may just be, you know, all he built a base to make it look nice. You can sit there and feel and relax and sip your iced coffee. Or you may actually have like tips or resources you can you can have. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't land on top of it, Bob! Oh, look at that! It's a little, like, little walk cabin thing. There's some place to land? Can I land on the side right here? Come on. Alright, let's try landing here, maybe. Can I land? Land! There we go. Ooh, it's a cold planet. I'm liking cold. Oh, what the? I fell. I got all nice and shiny trying to look at the cabin. Ouch, I fell down. It's a cold planet. Uh-oh. 
Are you nice and friendly? Or are you gonna try to eat? Oh, you're friendly. Good. Good. You're friendly. Yes, yeah, thermal protection is falling because I'm in the cold. Oh, they got a nice fire going. Come in. Have a seat. Rest your weary bones from traveling. Warm up a tad bit. Have some cocoa with little tiny marshmallows in it. Or in my case, have an iced coffee. Yeah. You never know. It's a respite from this crazy, crazy space, universe, galaxy. All right, enough sitting around. <laughs> What's up here? Ooh, goodies. I like goodies. Get them. Uh, okay, that's built into the architecture. Nice. All right, let's go to the rendezvous. Oh, there's another one down here. Oh, the guy refiner. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, objects already in use. <laughs> I mean, somebody's already used it before me. All right, let's go back to my ship. Well, my life support's low. So we will charge that up with some oxygen. There we go. Wait, let's uh, put that in the starship. Okay. Let's head to the rendezvous point. That was a cool, nice little cabin. Six minutes away. Birdcage, huh? Somebody made a made a base called Birdcage. Interesting. This is actually not where we're going to end up. This is actually like it normally is. This is the place where we land and we have to get out and search for the location of the actual rendezvous. Somebody got a base called the Copper and Radiant Shards. That means either they have collected a bunch for you, or that means it's a location that's got a bunch of carp, Copper and Radiant Shards at. Might have to check that out. That's another reason why I really love this game. It, it, it amazes me that, that, for the most part, no Man's Sky community is all very, very uh, non-toxic. They're kind of like the absolute opposite of like uh, Call of Duty or Modern Warfare or anything like that type of uh, 
atmosphere that the people here that play this game are normally pretty chill. They like to help each other out. I love it. What I love about this. It's like everybody's just trying to get by in the galaxy. <laughs> Taking a little bit to get there. Yeah, it's not the fastest. Need to eventually see if we can't upgrade this thing, possibly. I'm used to flying faster in my main save game uh, because. My solar ship there can do almost 300 uh, units per second. Well, and, and you want my real fast, my little golden guppy, really fast. Incoming blizzard! Incoming storm! Yay! At least it's not a fire uh, storm. I can live with a blizzard. I like blizzards. Especially from Dairy Queen, they're good. Well, we're a minute away. Get out of this. Oh, it's on the other side of this mountain, I bet. the thingy what is that are you kidding me what is that well we gotta find out somebody built a base way up here above the clouds well, isn't that kind of cool? Yes, I know you're thinking. Oh, there goes the penguin again. Nice and shiny. Got distracted. Yeah, I did. What happened? What did I do? Ooh. Buy some of that chlorine, though. Chlorine you can refine into, uh, to make money. Ooh, nice. Look at this. Isn't this nice and nazzy? Storm clearing. Ooh, freebies. Got a Corvax casing. I need the Atlas One. That's so cool. They made, made like a kitchen area and turned the fireplaces into uh, like what like a stove or something. Ooh, what we got here? Nothing.
I ain't gonna take their geek nips and their nip buds. I try not to take stuff from somebody else's base unless they tell you flat out that you can. Now the containers, those are always always meant to be uh, stuff that you can you can take. Look at this. What is this? I bet you I fly you up into it. Where am I at? Am I at the bot? Wait a minute. No, I'm still. What happened? Where'd I go? All right, let's see if I can't pan out, see what the, where I'm at. Yes, I know, thermal protection falling. Look at that! <laughs> they built, like, this massively long stick or pole <laughs> and then put the, put the base up here. That's way cool, though. All right, enough playing around, Bob. Back on mission. We got to get to the second rendezvous point. Okay, after I stop not following. No, 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 oh, no. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Unless I can figure out, oh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, 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 I missed it. Come on, land in the next one. Land in the next one. There we go. Wow, that about killed me. Okay, great. How do I get down? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I fell again. Come on. Oh, this. Plastic. I don't have enough jump jet to fly. Oh, oh, oh. Taken. Oh, that means the next step is death. Oh. Up. Oh, uh, what? What just happened? This was apparently a bad idea, Bob. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm just flat out. Go I'm gonna die. Well, if I'm gonna die, let's do it on the ground. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. As in, like, I'm gonna go splat. I'm gonna be penguin pancakes. <laughs> yeah, penguin pancakes, baby. Maybe I can keep from doing that. Come on. Oh. Oh, did I make it? I made it! I made it! I'm not paying the pancakes! But I'm right in the belly of the beast! Lovely. Super terrific. Wonderful. I need my ship. Get away from the Sentinels. Come on. Okay. I can't believe I actually survived that fall. Because when, when you have no shield left and you fall from any distance, it normally kills you. That's what I get for playing around with somebody's base. All right, let's go to the rendezvous point. Where is the rendezvous point? This way.
And I bet you I cannot. I want to see if I can land over here. The only problem with all these mountains, you can't land on the side of them. Land over here. Yes, I can. Oh. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause for about five minutes while I go refresh my iced coffee and, uh, Give you guys a because I've been going for about two hours, uh, a little under two hours, and uh, about 140, and give you guys a chance to get up and uh, stretch and so forth. And uh, I'll be back in about three or four minutes. I want to, I need to go stretch and maybe go to the little penguin's room and definitely get some iced coffee. All right, so I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I hope you had an opportunity to get yourself some iced coffee. Uh, maybe go to the uh, little penguins room or something like that. At least uh, get a chance to get up and stretch. All right, so let's uh, we'll head into the rendezvous point. What did I do? Overshoot it? Apparently did. Whoa. All right, let's try going down. Wait a minute. Wrong weapon. Okay. Trying to get out of the cold. Even though penguins like cold, my suit can only handle so much right now. I'm getting close. Uh-oh. Sentinel's watching me. Fell, fell even further. I didn't know I fell that down far. It says it's this way, so maybe it's down toward the bottom. Let me tunnel. There we go. I ran into a wall or something. Come on. Okay, I'm heading the right way. That's good. Nope, it is this way. What's going on? There we go. Got stuck on a stalactite or something. Oh, I need to recharge my uh, thingy. My mining tool. There we go. I'm here. Okay. I go up. I can't. Come on. Keep climbing, Bob. We'll reach it. Definitely getting a lot of silicon powder. Cool. 
Oh, I completed the second pilgrimage. Get it from underground. Let's get my reward. Thousand nanites, base computer plans, and salvage data. Nice. Forbidden exosuit module, too. Love it. Sentinel exosuit module? What does that do? The Sentinel modification for the exosuit glows with a sinister purple light. Its circuits shifting each time they are observed. Seeping nanite foam floods the module, targeting shield strength and sprint distance. Really? Let's put it there then. Wait a minute, let's actually do this. That there, but this there. What's that do to it? It supercharged it. Yes! Nice! Love it! Well, we still need to go to the surface. That's what we're doing. What is that? I'm on the bottom side of the auto fence. Ah, ah, that's so cool. The scrapper's camp is much like the first half-built machines. Abandoned attempt at new technology, the unwanted or unprofitable remains of a countless salvage operations. Which of these catalog categories did the auto fence belong to? Tip memory repair or pro? I'm going to tip for memory repair. Oh, wait a minute. I need to know which order the glyphs are in. So I need to probe the damage registers first. Okay, so six plus one is seven. Uh, 15 minus two is 13. And three minus one is two. So seven, 13, two. 7, 13, 2. So 7, 13, and then 2. A light flickers on somewhere deep within these long abandoned circuits. Inaudibly, a lock is broken. Dump the memory contents, please. Thank you. Finalize the download. I extract what I can from the autophages decomposing memory. It appears to contain a set of construct schematic. Of course it does. Construct limb. Oh, I can build, I'm building my own automaton. Nice. Cast a shadow. I completed a milestone without even thinking about it. What milestone is this? Right there. Con construct limb schematics lubricant plans. Nice. I need quad servos. And I got lubricant plans. I need gamma root and facium. Sweet. Extract 16 radiant shards. I could definitely do that. All right, let's get to the surface for first. Uh, don't tell me I'm stuck. Come on. There'll be some place I can go and mine from. There we go. What? I gotta get further away so I can I can actually mine. Come on. Let's go down deeper then over.
Well, Vince, we hit daylight. Come on. I'm gonna need to recharge my weapon. Technology recharge. There we go, we hit daylight, finally. Yes, I know thermal protection's falling. Whoa! That was a creature. Let's get to the top. I mean, there we go. This is where I was. I just came from underneath here. Uh. Oh, okay. I like turtles. Ha! Ah! Ah! put that on communication boodles. Booey says, I like turtles. I like turtles. I don't know what language that is. Looks like Portuguese. Wait a minute, is that animal mean? Nope, he's docile. Good. That was the autophage that came up underneath. Can I call in my ship? Manatized ferrite deposit? Well, let's go there and maybe there's some radiant shards next to it. can't take off in a ship that has no gas. Technology oh, am I running out of Starship fuel already? No, okay, I got, I got, yeah, I got, yeah. Wait a minute, I got six, I got six left. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Man, I've been burning through that like crazy. This puppy's a gas guzzler. The, where's my mark? There it is. Where's my marker? Bet you I can't land close to it. Yeah, we'll probably land down here. Oh, we gather up some dioxide. You need that while you're on a cold planet. You can use that to recharge things. Uh-oh. Go away, Mr. Sentinel. Nothing to see here. I'm not doing anything. Yes, of course, thermal protection is falling. It's always falling. The 
Let's grab me some of this magnetized sphere, right? Let's see if there's any radiant shards around here. There's a whole bunch of the Atlantis stuff. Shards? No, they don't look like they're radiant shards. The radiant shards are bigger. I don't remember if they show up on a scan or not. Yeah, we do. That's living fragments. Wait a minute. I thought there was a base around here that had radiant shards built into it. Right there. Okay, where's my ship? Down there. Hey, Cuddy. Hope you weren't sitting there watching for a while and I didn't say anything to you. I, get, I got distracted. I can't use you earlier. I had to do math again. <laughs> uh. Right now, we're going to try to find, we need to get 16 radiant shards. So, this base is supposed to have some. Looks like there are some right here. Oh. Probably be being guarded, too. My sentinels. So, we got to be uh, extra careful. Oh, that one. Don't mind me, Mr. Sentinel. I'm not doing anything. I'm just here to take some radiant shards without you looking. Actually, are those? Okay, there's a... Gotta be on the lookout for predators as well. Oops, fell down. There's a radiant shard. There's one. So far, so good. Thermal protection falling. There's two. I actually got three all total. Four. There's five. Six of them. Three more around. There's a big old honking crystal. What's in here anyway? Oh, copper. Nice. I ain't gonna take it because the guy didn't really specify he could. Oh, there's another one. Nope, that's Atlantis stuff. It just looks big. Oh, 
What do we have over here? That looks like one. Is that radiant shards? No living fragment. Carbon crystals. And this carbon. Definitely grabbing that. You don't see that too often. You have to normally make it. Let's see if this is a radiant shard over here. Oh, oi! Leave me alone! Stupid sentinels. I didn't do anything. <laughs> How about a jump scare? Scared me a little bit. Came out of nowhere. I thought the regular sentinels were bad. The corrupted ones are crazy. They come out of nowhere. That is a radiant shard. You friendly? I would assume since you have not attacked me, you're friendly. Yeah. Oh, here we go. See, now, the minute I try to take this radiant shard, I bet you he's not going to be happy about it. Let's see. There's a... What? Go away! Yep, I called that one. All right, let's get out of here while we can. Run, Bob, run! Come on. Well, so far everything looks like it's still working. Periodically gotta check. I'm doing this is a test stream to see if things are gonna stable yet. I already had audio issues earlier and Video locking up with the game. Okay. Let's call my ship in. Probably only going to be testing for about another 30 minutes or so. I got a video I need to work on. And I just burned through my launch fuel again. Let's see if we can find some more radiant shards. Been to that Traveler's Lodge. Let's see, somebody called that one Inverted Mirror to let you know the Inverted Mirrors are there. Let's go see if we can get an Inverted Mirror. And normally where there's Inverted Mirrors, there may be Radiant Shards. Let's go up top and drop back down. A little faster travel that way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quit overcompensate. That it right there? Yep. There we go. Whoa, 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 slow your roll, Bob.
like a pea soup. Can't see anything. There it is. Storm clearing. Yay. At least this is on a nice cold planet, which I'm glad about. Are you friendly? Yeah, you're friendly. You never know. Some of these animals get out and come out of nowhere and attack you. Oh, I gotta fill up my life support. There we go. Nice. So somebody built a base here just with some like inverted oh save point. Might as well use the save point while I can. Take a ooh, what we got here? That's an inverted mirror. No, it's a dissonance resonator. And nice little sentinels everywhere. Yes, nothing to see here. I'm just taking your business, Resonator. Oh, man, the swarm's coming after me. Let's switch to my bolt caster. It does make it easier to fight here, I know that. I'm out of ammo! There we go, I reloaded. Stick and move, Bob. Stick and move. Doesn't help. They got healing abilities. I think I'm almost out of ammo. Come on. There we go. You want some? Take it! There you go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry. Still hunting me. Hot pick, quit healing it. Are they gone? Swarm is multiplying. Oh man, that means they're coming back. Uh-oh. I need to get out of here. Worm is hunting. Maybe I can hold hold out and they'll stop looking for me. Say anything. Be very quiet. Aha! They're done looking for me. Ooh. I did a milestone. Didn't even know I did. Which one? Living Void. Cool. Okay, I, I'll be done here in a little while. 
I'll be down here around seven, then I'll hop over in your stream. Ooh, I got suspicious hazard protection module. Nice. That just boosted my resistance to things even more. Love it. Oh, I got quad servos. That's a cloaking device. Oh, snap. I got a cloaking device. Now you see me, now you don't. You won't be on too long, though? Okay. I need to turn the light on. There we go. All right, I came over here looking for inverted mirrors and radiant shards. Let's see. Now that they're not hunting me anymore, let's save. See if there is some around here. Don't mind me. I'm not the same guy that was attacking you earlier. Hey, now. Uh, apparently, they do think I'm the same guy. All right. Let's call my ship in. Seriously? Whoa! Oh! Oh! God, pick and attacking me. All right, fine. Let's do this. my ship. I have to go get my ship. There it is. Huh. Not a few again. Let's get out of here. Come on. Before the Sentinels come get me again. Alright. Was there any? I don't think there was any radiant shards over here. I did get a distance resonator though, so that's good. Whoa, 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 what we got here? Those are radiant shards. Surprised he didn't attack me. Okay, I got eight out of sixteen. Is that another one over here? It looks like it.
Let's make sure I keep my ship charged. Healed up, I mean. Sure enough, that's a radiant shard. Nothing to see here. I think that's another couple radiant shards. There's one over there too. Good. Seventy-five percent. That's good. Okay. That's not a radiant shard. Atlantis stuff. There's another one right over there too. That's a Gravitino ball. Uh-oh. They saw me take it. Should have left it alone. Give me the radiant shards. Yep. Oh, it's a baby. Good. No, they're not. My cloak came in handy. Is that another radiant shard that just grew up? I don't care. I'll take it. Sure enough, did. Where was that other one? There it is. Friendly. Yep. You never know. Fourteen out of sixty. I only need two more. Two more. Go back to the ship. I don't think these are radiant shards. They're not big enough. Nope, it's Atlantis stuff. All right. Let's see if we can't find some more. There's something. I'm gonna want it. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen.
Oh, great. Well, came in handy again. I wish I could cook the ship. That'd be so cool. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to do that in an update sometime. Is that rain shark? No. And I think that is. And that is too. Finally completed another milestone. Yeah, thermal protection's falling. I get it. Now I only need one more, and it's right over here. Oh, no, never mind. You know what? To, oh. Okay, completed it. But since I'm over here, I might as well get that other one. Are you friendly? Yep, he's friendly. Love it. Now look at this stuff too. See if I can call my ship in. Get out of the cold here. Collect my reward. Prepackaged optical drill unit, supreme mining beam, and hazard protection. Nice. What's this? Okay, I need to move this. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. There we go. That works. And what's this? Echo locator. Radiant shards, baby. Put that in the starship. I don't want to construct limbs yet. Hold on. I'm doing some upgrades. Here. Why didn't that not? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Can I? No. Move that. There we go. That's what I need to do. Okay. Because they're supposed to blow together when you put them next to each other. Hands to grasp, assemble the second construct part. I can do that. What do I need? All right, I need three carbon nanotubes. I can make those. I cannot, I don't have enough carbon. That can be changed really easily. What is that? Copper. We gotta stop for a copper break. 
always need copper. Chromatic metal is like in everything. So it just feels like it is. Okay, I need some copper. I mean, not copper, but I need a uh, carbon. Carbon. There's some carbon. Looks like it's got carbon in it. Okay, that's got carbon too. Good. The rocks have ferrite and carbon. Pure ferrite. Nice. Okay, do I have enough to make carbon three carbon nanotubes? What happened to all my carbon? I still don't have enough carbon. That's why these rocks only have like one carbon now though. It's a secondary element. Frozen tubers. Wait a minute. Do I have enough oxygen? Should be able to convert that to carbon. There we go. I'm still going to need to find some carbon. Three is I make only two. Still need some more carbon. Come on, I want to complete this milestone, then I'll end the stream. Just need enough carbon so I can make the uh, last nanotube. Can I make it? Yes. Now I can make this. Great. All right. Hands to grasp. Well, let's go to the space station. And then that's where I'll uh, park it. And we'll pick up from there next time. like the next part of guys I gotta present the construct limb to Atlas it's probably be what I'll be doing next
Not today, though. I gotta go work on a video. And I gotta go watch RPG stream. He's doing Lego. Star Wars, I think. Okay. All right. Okay, so we got to the point where we uh, achieved several uh, parts of the expedition. We completed the first phase. Uh, we're almost done with the second phase as well. Got a few more things left on it. I am still trying to figure out all my technical issues and so forth. So. If I stream tomorrow, which is my normal day to stream anyway, if I do stream, it'll be because I've tried a few things to see if I can test out and see why my streaming PC is messing up so badly. If not, then I'm not sure when I'll be back. Uh, either way, I'm not going to continue on with this expedition off stream. I'll wait until next time I can stream it. So, as always, glad for you tuning in and watching this video. And... I am the crazy little space penguin named What About Bob, and I'm out of here because I gotta go track down a Wookiee. Later, peeps! <laughs>